So today I'm going to show you how to exchange cryptocurrencies for a different cryptocurrency. Um, just a little security note right off the back is um, you have to always be careful with these online exchanges. They're not government backed like FDIC insured or anything like that. So if one of these was to go out of business, you would potentially lose all your cryptocurrency. So um, research the ones you're using like right before you use them because things change over the over time. Um, but and generally stick with the ones that are really well recommended by a lot of people online. Um, this is one I'm using. Uh, it's called KuCoin. I specifically went to this one because Binance is a really well-known one, but they stopped taking user registrations, and Bitrex is in the same boat. So I was just looking for one that potentially offers new signups, and this one does. So, so far it seemed pretty good. Um, definitely has uh, a lot of good reviews from people, so I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, first, I'll kind of explain the idea behind it. Uh, you'll hear the KuCoin thing all the time. Um, KuCoin is a cryptocurrency, and what their kind of gimmick is, is the more KuCoin you have, uh, essentially have control of, um, they give you a portion of the transaction fees from the KuCoin website. So potentially, if you hold a bunch of it, then you could um, get dividends that are worth a decent amount of money, depending on how well KuCoin does. So the better KuCoin does, the better the holders of KuCoin do. But on top of that, it is a crypto exchange. So even if you don't care about anything to do with KuCoin, you can still use it to exchange whatever uh, listed currency for whatever other listed currency. So they have a whole bunch you can trade. Um, I'm going to show you today, I'm just going to change some Ethereum into some KuCoin and kind of show you how it works. So um, essentially, I'm going to assume at this point you have some cryptocurrency. If you don't have any, I have another video showing how to buy um, like either some Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, or Ethereum um, with US dollars, and um, I'll link you to that video. But if you are doing that route, I recommend you do either Ethereum or Bitcoin Cash because it does have the fastest transaction period right now. Um, Bitcoin is a bit slow because it's a bit overwhelmed. Essentially, go to um, your wallet where you have your coins, and um, in this case, I'm just transferring them straight from Ethereum wallet and GDAX. So I'm going to do it with Ethereum. This works the same for whatever cryptocurrency you're using. So I would just say withdraw here and I'm going to say um, to an ETH address. So if in your case, you would say to like, if you were transferring Bitcoin cash, you would say to a Bitcoin cash address, like whatever it is. So now it asks for my Ethereum address. So that's something I need to get from KuCoin to transfer it to KuCoin. So I'm going to go to KuCoin and I'm going to go to my assets. And then right here, there's a withdraw, or sorry, there's a deposit option. And that's what I want to do. And then it lists all the currencies right here. So, so whatever currency you want to do, you essentially just find it in the list here, and it's going to give you an address to receive it at. So in my case, I'm transferring Ethereum. So I'm going to look for ETH in this list right here. Um, it's not always set up amazingly. And also it can be a little confusing because there's some that are very similar to others. Like BCH is not the same as BTC and ETH, which is... Ethereum is not the same as ETC. So if you sent one of those to the wrong uh, number, then they would be lost forever. So make sure you double check what you're sending it to is correct. So again, I'm looking for ETH here. So it's not that one either. <laughs> Sorry. So it's right here, Ethereum. So I'm going to click on that one. So double check that the name here is correct. Like uh, there's ones that are very similar to Ethereum, like ETC is listed as Ethereum Classic. If I tried to send Ethereum to Ethereum Classic, Again, it would be lost forever. So I need to double check that what I'm sending it to is correct. So I'm sending it to my Ethereum address, and then this is my wallet address. So this is what I need to copy. This is what I send my Ethereum to. So I'll copy and paste this. I'll copy it. I'll go to my wallet, and I'll type in my ETH address, like I'll page, paste it, and then I can choose my amount. So I'm going to tr transfer like 0 0.5 Ethereum. And then it's going to ask for a two-factor code. Um, this is... A security setting a lot of wallets have, so I'm just going to type that in. So then I'm going to withdraw my funds, and this is going to go to my Ethereum address at KuCoin. So it's successfully processed, but now it's going to take a few minutes to show up in my KuCoin wallet. So don't be disturbed if it doesn't show up immediately. So I'll go over to KuCoin here, and you should be able to see it depending here in just a second. So um, I'll click back to the overview, and then go back to deposit, fill in Ethereum. I scroll down. Um, still hasn't showed up, but we'll just give it a minute. So KuCoin is running a little slow today just because of a whole bunch of new signups. But you see now that the deposit record is showing up here at the bottom. So hopefully uh, another couple minutes it will be fully confirmed. And then I can show you how to buy another cryptocurrency 
using the uh, cryptocurrency you transferred into KuCoin. So as soon as the transaction shows up as succeeded, we can actually use it to trade. So um, you see down here, it just says that it succeeded, so we're good to go. So to actually exchange it for a different, different cryptocurrency, we just go to the Markets tab here, and then we can essentially click on any where you're interested in it. So I'm going to use my Ethereum to buy some of the KuCoin. So if I click on the KuCoin one right here, it will bring me to the market for it. And then up here, I'm going to change this to Ethereum instead. So when I go to Ethereum, I'm going to click on KCS right here to trade it for KuCoin. And it's going to ask for another um, two-step verification code. So then to actually convert the KuCoin, uh, the Ethereum to the KuCoin, we just go right here. And we can just click on the best price right here and just click on the max. And essentially, it's just going to slide that all the way to the right and say that it's going to exchange all my Ethereum for KuCoin, which is exactly what I want. And I'll just hit buy. And then it's very similar to like GDAX and the other ones um, that you'll see your buy order has been placed. And then if you um, if it sits around a while, it'll show up in the active order orders. If it completes immediately, it'll just move right over to the delt. Otherwise, it'll sit in the active, then move to delt. So if I go to the delt right here, you'll see that it already bought um, all of that ACS using Ethereum, and I've successfully converted my cryptocurrency. And now you can use that KCS to buy anything else you want. Like I could go to the sell option right here, click on my KCS, and then click on any other um, currency I might want to trans transition it to. So for example, I might click on uh, NEO, which I have a little bit of, and then I can say to um, buy NEO using KCS. So that would be right here. So um, it's as simple as that to transfer one cryptocurrency into another one on KuCoin. I will have a link at the bottom um, that is a referral link. I'd recommend if you use KuCoin and recommend it to some friends, use the referral link as well because that will give you a little bit of KuCoin long term as well. So um, it's a pretty cool exchange, works very well for me so far. Um, again, always be very secure about your um, cryptocurrency. Don't leave it on the exchange. Um, and also always do your research right before you use the exchange because things change day by day for how reliable the exchange is and how long it's going to stick around. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment below.